Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I know I've been kind of absent lately and December was just a crazy month for me. But we are starting out 2023 and we are going to have Inspiration Friday projects every Friday. So this week, I thought what might be fun is I've been spending so much time sewing and I get lots of questions about some of the tools that I like to use when I'm doing my sewing. So I sat down and I went through my sewing station and I was trying to determine what are Lisa's top 10 um, tools in her sewing stash. So today we're gonna go through 10 of those items and I'm just gonna show you how I use them. And of course, like always, I will put a link down below to each one of these items, every one of them you can find on Amazon. So I'll make sure I put those links there for you. So we're gonna go through, and if you stay till the very end, I think I'll have some bonus content for you also. So let's get started with number 10. So number 10 is the adhesive measuring tape that I use throughout my entire craft room. So I've got one right here on my sewing table. I've got one over at my um, heat press station. I've got one over at my paint station and I've got one on my table. So I absolutely love these adhesive measuring tapes. So make sure you check them out. They are just so handy to have. So number nine on my list are these, what I call little bobbin pins. I actually saw somebody post on Facebook last week and said, hey, I got these as stocking stuffers and I'm not quite sure what to do with them. So let me tell you what you do. They are great when you have spun your bobbin and you can clip that right on just like that. And then you can store them with your matching thread. And that way, you know you've got your bobbin and your thread and everything's ready to go. So number nine are these bobbin, bobbin holder clips. Okay. So now let's go on to number eight because they kind of go right together. So I picked up these wraps. Thread Saber Wraps, and these are really cool. So I just go ahead and wrap them right around my thread. And so I don't have thread hanging out all over the place. And I'll give you a close-up shot. I've got two places I have thread. One is the thread that I'm working on with my machine at the time, I usually keep handy in this cute little holder. But I've also got a thread storage right next to my sewing machine, and I'll make sure I give you a close-up view of that also. So the next one, or the next two, are kind of are in the same category, but I couldn't choose which one I like more. And so the first one I want to show you in the number seven position is my two-in-one seam ripper slash stiletto. So what that is, is I picked this up at a craft fair. A friend of mine um, makes these and sells these at, a craft, uh, at local craft fairs. And so one side is just your standard seam ripper. The other side though is a stiletto. And so what I like to use that stiletto for, and I'll show you a close up view on it, it's kind of like an extra finger. When I'm helping to go um, sewing, I'm going through my sewing machine, this thing just works out absolutely perfect. It is super sharp though, so you gotta be careful with it. So that one is in the number seven position. Now the sixth position is a seam ripper too. And this is a seam ripper that I've had for years and I absolutely love it. I always use this end um, for ripping my seam, but did you know that there is a use for this end too? And this thing cleans up your threads just great. So I'll give you a close up view of that also so you can see what I mean by that. But seam rippers are a must for any seamstress and so this one is sitting now in the sixth position. 
Number five is my Wonder Clips. So if you guys have seen my tutorials, you know that I use Wonder Clips all the time. Now, when I learned to sew years and years ago from my mom, it was all about pins. No one had Wonder Clips. But since these have been introduced, I probably use my Wonder Clips to hold my fabric together more than I've ever used pins. Now, I do have my pins handy on my pin pad, but I would say my Wonder Clips are definitely a much more favorite tool than just the standard pins. Number four. Number four is my rotary mat. And so this is the mat that I use to cut with with my rotary, which is going to be number three. But this is a self-healing mat, which I really like. I love that it's got the measurements on it, and I love that it's got the diagonals. Everything's an inch, and so it's really easy to use. The other thing that's nice is there is a reverse side. In the number three position, is my Ulfa rotary cutter. This is a 45 um, millimeter um, rotary cutter. And I have to tell you guys that pre-COVID sewing, I had never used a rotary blade before. I was all about my scissors. I cut everything with my scissors. In some of my early sewing videos on my channel, you will see Lisa a little challenged with her rotary cutter, but I cannot live without this now. I love this, and this is so easy to change the blades. I always keep extra blades in my drawer, but I just absolutely love this rotary um, cutter, and it's an Ulfa brand. The next item in the number two position is Clover does such a nice job of um, tools to use when you're sewing. And this is called a hot hammer. And I have used this in numerous tutorials, so you guys have probably seen it if you've seen some of my sewing tutorials. But this is a um, measuring guide that you can use when you're hemming and you can iron right on it. I absolutely love that I can press right on this and I can get precision measurements. So the hot hammer is definitely a must. Now, if you guys have seen any of my sewing tutorials, I'm sure that some of you can guess what Lisa's number one tool is. And that is, and that is my Clover Two Point Turner. I love this tool. I use it so often. I love that it's got a nice point when I'm trying to get precision corners when I'm working on something. If I've got something more circular, I've got this side. And I have this, this is my go-to grab. I have it handy all the time. So those are Lisa's top 10 tools. But let's talk about a few extras or what we might call honorable mentions because even though these are my top 10, I've got so many other tools that I just love to use. So I definitely cannot talk about my top 10 sewing things without at least mentioning my sewing machine. One thing I want to show you is a display that I put together a couple months ago. We have had some antique sewing machines in our house. One is from my husband's mother, and the other one was the, my mom's sewing machine that I actually learned to sew on. So I put those on display, and I just love having them out. But I've got a much modern, more modern sewing machine now, and I have to share with you that I love my brother um, Quilting Club series sewing machine. And it is the 1350, the BQ 1350. It is a little bit more on the high end than just a starter machine, but I do get comments about what sewing machine I use. Normally in my tutorials, I put a link down to a brother machine because I do like them, but this is a sewing machine that you would actually have to get at a sewing shop. But I cannot go without at least mentioning my sewing machine. The next honorable mention is definitely my iron. I love my cordless Panasonic iron and it just works so nice. 
I keep it plugged in all the time and I always have it just a little off camera. It's always close by my pressing pad. The other item I have to mention is my pressing pad. I will link the tutorial down of me making this pressing pad. I just absolutely love it. It is one that I can pick up and take if I want to go over to my larger workstation. And as you can see, I've always got my cutting mat propped up right behind it. Just works out so handy. So I hope you enjoyed today's Inspiration Friday. A little bit different. I didn't have a project for you, but I wanted to share with you some of my top items that I love to use when I'm sewing. And hey, if you guys liked this tutorial, make sure you subscribe and like, and hey, share it with your friends. And stay tuned because next week, we'll have an Inspiration Friday project for you. And hey, if I can ask you, of all the items that I just talked about today, which ones are your favorite? Or do you have a sewing tool that you use that I didn't mention? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday.